getting more comments and I'm getting more emails from people that are starting to quit. And I understand it a hundred percent, but a lot of people, and this is not like one or two people. If you guys go to some of my previous videos, you guys will see that there are people saying, you know, I tried it out. I tried it for a week. I tried it for a month. I've been doing this for a year and I'm done. And this is where I think a lot of people go wrong with reselling and of and any business in general, right? So with the with reselling in particular, the turnover rate is probably 60 to 70%. And when I say the turnover rate, I mean in the sense that people join these platforms in the sense of um, you know, they might see a video on YouTube, they might see one of mine where I'm in, in a thrift store or I'm in Ross and I'm showing people the stuff that I'm picking up, how much I think it'll sell for, so on and so forth, right? And people see these things and other people's videos as well. You know, trip to the thrift videos are very popular on YouTube, especially garage sale videos are very, very popular. So people see these videos, they get a ton of views and people want to do it too. They think it's easy money. So they might try it out for a month. They might try it out for three months. They might think they, they're more, you know, they might think they have that, that mental toughness or that endurance and they might stick with it for six months to a year. Then afterwards they realize this isn't for them. And I think that it's just, it's super important to, you got to trust the journey. This reselling game and any other business for that matter is not going to be something that you can just jump into and start making thousands of dollars right off the bat. I, at least I, I have, I've known no one that was able to, you know, take off a resale company to that, ex to that extent overnight. It doesn't necessarily happen. Anything that happens overnight, just like that usually would leave <laughs> just as fast. So I always want to keep those types of things in mind. But I just think it's very fascinating that there's so, especially during the fourth quarter, we have where, where most sellers are going to be experiencing tremendous growth, a tr uh, influx of sales, even with, you know, the pandemic and so, so much other things happening within the world. Fourth quarter so far has still been very strong for me. Um, we're still, I think we officially just hit fourth quarter, maybe a couple days ago, something like that. But I know September to December for me is all fourth quarter. So it's just amazing that during this time where tremendous growth is supposed to happen and so much potential for, of, of increased sales is supposed to happen. We have so many people that are um, dropping out of the game and just calling it quits so soon. So for those of you that are on the fence and thinking twice and wanting to, you know, reconsider, I'm not going to call you a quitter. I'm not going to call you a loser or anything like that, but you definitely just have to trust the process. Everybody's journey is going to be different. I tell, I have different conversations with friends and other people all the time. And I swear that conversation happens. I say that same phrase a couple times a week. Everybody's journey is different. This is my third year in business of approaching the fourth year in February. It'll be my fourth year doing this full time. I've, I've experienced a lot of success early on, especially when I was hitting all those thrift stores in Santa Barbara. I moved to Arizona and I had to make a pivot. And I think that's something that a lot of people need to also understand when it comes to reselling and business in general. You have to make pivots along the way. When I say make a pivot, you might meet, you might, you might need to make just a simple adjustment to your everyday process that you've become accustomed to doing. And you might just need to switch it up just a little bit in order to, you know, increase some sales or just, just get that energy and that fervor to keep going. And anytime I get emails and I get comments from people saying, oh, I'm done with this. Or some people might say, oh, eBay is dead. Poshmark is dead. I know I'm good for telling people Poshmark is dead because it's dead to me. But I, I get these comments all the time and people just, you know, just throw in the towel. But for those of us that want to make this a long-term play, just, just remember there's always, everybody's journey is different. And there's always another, there's always another step. There's always another level to, to your business. So if you find yourself, maybe you're, you're a little stagnated right now, or so sales might be a little slow for a couple of days, a couple of weeks. It's just part of the game. It's business. I, I dropped a video a couple of days ago where I was telling you guys earlier in the month of September, I experienced very slow sales. I had a day where I made zero dollars in sales from every platform I sell on. And then the pre and then there was a, a couple other days where I made no more than 60 bucks on eBay. So when times like that happen, I didn't run, I didn't run a promotion or a sale. It's been probably a year and a half since the last time I ran an actual eBay sale. And that helped spike a ton of sales. It brought in, I think overall, just about maybe almost 3000 in gross sales from just running a, a eBay promotion. 
And that was a pivot. I was one of those people that said all the time, oh, I don't run sales. I price my stuff correctly, so I don't need to do that. But it just goes to show you have to make changes. You have to make pivots. And if you want to stay in the game, you're going to have to adjust. You know, every every few months is going to have to be an adjustment. So I just wanted to just, you know, get that out the way and just kind of share that message because I'm starting to see those comments and I'm getting these emails and for some people, they might say, oh, the more people dropping out of eBay, the, the better it is for the more experienced sellers. And I don't necessarily think that way. I think there's enough money and enough things out there for us to sell so everybody can, you know, just gain gain some money. You know what I mean? Earn some profit. So I, I definitely just think it's just a matter of time until things adjust. But you have to adjust as well in order to get the outcome that you want. So definitely stick with it. Don't Don't quit. Just the, the number one thing with being successful, those that are successful, the, the number one thing is that they just didn't quit. We never see the hills and the valleys along the way, but they just never quit. So for me, even if I have a slow week, a slow month, a slow year, the game, the, the plan is just not to quit. So I'm going to be successful and you, you will see that next level as long as you don't quit. That's the message. That's it. So I should have never offered it I'm tight and now I'm off this